Hello friends, welcome. In this video I'm going to work with the uh, forgot password. So right now if we say here forgot password, we navigate here but we don't see anything. So let's work with that. Let's uh, first, you need to create an account to the mytrap.io. I have created that and then search, uh, select here the Laravel, copy this code here and we need to open the backend project so let's stop this and let's open with a vs code and you need to go to the .env file and replace all the mail so the mail mailer host port username password and encryption with that data you copy and save and that's it close this one and run now the artisan serve and you are okay for the back end then let's start for the front end in the pages directory i'm going to create a new file i'm going to name it a forgot password dot jsx and create a react arrow function export save let's go inside the app.jsx and import that component forgot password and that is inside the guest layout so here i'm going to add one more route with path slash forgot dash password and the element is going to be that component we created forgot password self close and also self close this one if i save and open the project now we have here forgot password okay but here we need to have the email because we are going to send the email and the button so let's go inside the login and let's copy what we have here and paste it on the return and if i save i think we have maybe an error Got the console, yeah. We don't have the handle login. Let's start and work with that first. Here we have the form, and instead of handle login, I'm going to say handle submit. We need the email, okay then. The error, we don't need the password. So let's remove the password. Okay, we have the links here, but we don't need the links. And let's create this handle submit. But first, I'm going to create a constant for the email. So let's say const email and also set email is going to be equal with use state and initially an empty string then i'm going to create a constant for the errors so errors and set errors which is going to be equal with use state and initially an empty array and also i'm going to create a constant for the status because it's going to return the status and set status which is going to be equal with use state and here initially is going to be null uh, like this okay and now let's create that constant so const handle 
submit which is going to be an async function and here we receive the event then first we need to call the event prevent default and then make the logic so also we need to import that CSRF token so let's, uh, let's remove this react we don't need and let's come here and import the use out context and then right here I'm going to create a constant and say object what we need we need only the CSRF from the use out context and not like this but equal with okay now let's go to this context and uh, return also the csrf here so we have that now and let's call that uh, we are going to say await csrf like this and first also i'm going to say set errors to be an empty array and also set status to null and then let's try and catch if we have any error and the same thing we have done in the context uh, when we have login or so things like this so let's copy this and paste it here so if we have the error status for you to set the errors to the error response data errors and here i'm going to create a constant and say response to be equal with await axios dot post and make sure you import the access from the api access post slash forgot dash password and we need to add here the email as an object like this and then i'm going to say set status to the response dot data dot status like this and uh, so here we have the bg white and i'm going to add after this one a div but this div is going to show only if we have status and then say add a div with a class name to be bg green 700 margin 2 and padding 2 and i'm going to say also rounded and text is going to be white and in this one i'm going to display the status because initially status is uh, null okay if i save and let's open yeah we don't see that status and also here we don't have any email but if i click and add the test example.com say login and yeah we have emailed your password reset link here and of course if i click 
we have that email here. So this is working, but just here, instead of just saying Laravel here, uh, let's say something else. So for example, where is that? In here, I'm going to say forgot your password and let us uh, know your email and we will email your password reset link or just yeah let us know your email address and we will send or email you a password reset link like this yeah i think now it's more okay so if i refresh and test example dot com add the password i'm oh, sorry just say login and yeah we have emailed your password reset link okay and here so we have the link and if i click we navigate to the password slash dash reset not slash dash reset and then we have a token then we have a email which is the email we uh, typed here okay friends that's it about this video i hope you enjoy and see you in the next one all the best